Hello friends, Raymond and I are going on vacation. And by vacation, I mean that I'm probably going to work most of the time, <laughs> but that's okay. I have a dream job. Let me interrupt myself really quickly to remind members to check out Member Monday this week. I am answering a member question about possibly switching camera brands. Gasp, I know. <laughs> if you are a member, check out the link in the description to find Member Monday. If you're not a member, but you're curious about supporting the channel in that way, but also in seeing the uh, member exclusive videos every week, as well as the long form courses and seeing the member exclusive email address that allows me to get back to you much more quickly, there is a link in the description to learn more about channel membership as well. All right, back to the video. When Raymond and I initially thought about this idea of going on a vacation to Durango, Colorado, or actually just outside of Durango, we thought, let's just bring a couple of cameras, maybe our Leica SL2 and the Leica Q2, and you know, one lens for the SL2, and we'll just have a good time. Well, then a bunch of stuff came in that I want to test out. So we're bringing stuff to test. So in this video, I thought I would share with you the things that we are bringing on this working vacation and the cameras and lenses, but as also things like extra batteries and the you know camera straps and tripod and stuff like that. So I have not actually gone on this vacation yet. I'm packing up right now. I also have bags down here that I'll show you what, you know, what I'm packing in, uh, but I will, as I'm talking through the gear that I'm bringing, I will share with you a photo. I'll bend time and share with you a photo or two from the trip. Okay, let's dive in. Let me start with the Nikon contingent. I have the Nikon Z5 that I have borrowed from Nikon. I have the kit lens on it, the 24 to 50 F4 to F6.3. This camera is brand new and I'm excited to try it out. This is, like I said, the kit lens. So this is really what I want to primarily use with this camera. I do have a 24 to 70 millimeter F 2.8 S lens for the Z cameras. It is being used to uh, film me right now, but I don't want to bring that. I know that the image quality will be better with that lens but at least for this trip, I wanna bring the kit lens. I just wanna see how it goes. If you were to bring this on vacation, many people are just gonna buy the kit and only use the kit lens. I wanna see how it goes. That being said, <laughs> I am also reviewing this Viltrox lens. This is a third-party lens for Nikon Z mount. It is a 20 millimeter F 1.8 manual focus, beautiful, big and heavy <laughs> Z lens. So I will try that out for some ultra wide goodness, but I'm going to, you know, the woods. I want to be able to photograph wildlife with the Z5. So I'm also bringing my Nikon 200 to 500 millimeter F 5.6 F mount lens. So I will also be bringing the FTZ adapter for it. I've used this lens on my other Z bodies with with success. So that is the Nikon kit. We've got ultra wide, we've got wide angle to normal, and we've got some super telephoto. Now for the L mount contingent, I am finishing up my review of the Sigma FP. So I've been using this for a few weeks and I'm just not quite done with it. I feel like there's a little more I want to do with it. So I'm going to bring it. I also have several uh, L mount lenses from Sigma and I'm going to bring most of what I have borrowed from them. I have the 45 millimeter F 2.8 DG DN contemporary lens. It's such a cute little setup. I just can't resist bringing it just for those random days out where I don't necessarily want to bring a big setup. I just want something little. I do also want to bring the 24 to 70 millimeter F 2.8 DG DN art lens. I will be able to work in low light with wide angle. And then I also have a newer lens from Sigma here. This is the 100 to 400 millimeter F5 to F6.3 DG DN contemporary lens. Now to go along with this, I also have 
two of the uh, the new teleconverters that were announced with this 100 to 400. They are a 1.4x and a 2x teleconverters. These were only announced for L mount, so I have these. If I want a little more reach with the 100 to 400, and then on top of that, we're also going to bring the Leica SL2, and this is an L mount. I will be able to use all of these lenses on this camera. This is a lot of camera gear, but you know what? There's two of us. This is my job. We're bringing it all on this quasi vacation. To go along with all of this stuff, I am also going to be bringing an extra battery for every camera. For charging, I plan to not bring additional chargers. I plan to only bring uh, USB cables. So USB-C or Mm, I can't remember if this is micro USB or USB-C. USB-C, ding, ding, ding. I will be bringing USB-C cables. So in addition to that, I have a bunch of camera straps. I have all of our Peak Design straps. I did a little uh, video about these recently being, you know, which camera straps that I use. Uh, I'll link to that in the description. We're bringing all of them because Raymond and I can never agree on which straps for which cameras. So we switch out, switch them out, you know, depending on who's using the camera. And then I am also going to bring a tripod. I did go ahead and purchase the Peak Design carbon fiber travel tripod recently. So far, this thing is a superstar and it was worth every penny for me. So this trip will really be a pretty major testing of this. I did purchase the ultralight kit, which makes this like half of its weight. And I might bring that as well. I haven't quite decided, but I do know that I'm going to be doing a lot of hiking and running and such on this trip. So it would be nice to be able to cut my tripod weight in half, which would allow me to bring it on more hikes. Okay. Also memory cards. All cameras are full of memory cards. I have a 128 gig SD card in the Sigma FP. I have a 128 gig card and a 64 gig card in the SL2. And I have a, I only have one card in here. It's a 128 gig SD card in this, although it does have two slots. I don't think we're gonna need both slots, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Okay. Oh, one more thing. I do have extra dongles for my straps for if I choose to put the um, eyelets on the Sigma FP, which I will also be bringing those. All right, everybody, let me grab my bags from the floor, clear some space off. Let's get to packing. done. <laughs> I am going to put these back down. <laughs> Let me explain what these bags are real quick. I do have a review of these packs. They are my favorite. Uh, these are the Atlas Athlete packs and Raymond and I love them. Um, they're I'll link to their review in the description so I don't go too much into it. But basically this will be both a hiking pack and a traveling with my gear pack. So all of my computer stuff will also be going into my pack and probably Raymond will do the same. And I think that's about it. I hope that you enjoyed the photos that I spent time <laughs> to uh, insert into this video. And I'm curious what you all like to bring on vacation when you want to bring your camera. Do you only bring your phone? Do you bring a bag of stuff like Raymond and I do or something in between? Let me know down in the comments. And if you found this video at all helpful or entertaining or you just like me, <laughs> please like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. It's a super big help for this channel. And that's it, everybody. Thank you for watching.